welcome and welcome back. I'm Sue. I'm Michael. And uh, we are... We are close to family. <laughs> it is April 18th, 2019. This is episode 52. Uh, we are a Nick Cast from Armstrong and, and the North I'm Okanagan sorry, but region. our dog just came in here and farted and it's... Like, oh, yeah, God. So Thanks, Tash. Oh, so yeah. if I'm doing this, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, we are a Nick Cast from Armstrong. Nick Cast from Armstrong in the North Okanagan region of British Columbia, Canada, following my adventures as a newer murderer and... Murderer, yes! <laughs> According to the YouTube cl uh, closed captions, I am apparently a newer murderer. And our ongoing yarn and knitting addiction. I went and I looked because I only just found out or realized um, when I was reviewing videos for our little montage last week anyway that that we have closed captioning. Yeah, it's auto-generated by YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, actually, it's funny because I saw some other um, Nick casters, and if you can hear that heavy breathing, that is our dog. Yeah. Um, I saw some other, um, you know, knitting podcast people who were saying that, um, again, as part of the inclusion thing, that... Um, I guess they'd been getting some feedback that some people who were deaf were feeling left out of the yeah. whole podcasting thing. Yeah. And they were thinking about getting in interpreters or learning some sign language or whatever. And yep. I, which I think is is wonderful. Yep. I, I have but but it was like, wait, wait, we're closed captioned. Yeah, we're closed captioning. So I went to watch it and yeah, sure enough, it said I'm uh, I'm a newer murderer. A newer murderer. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should look at, you know, properly going through and putting those together, but... Yeah. Putting what together? Uh, that you're uh, a fill, no, filling in the captions and... Oh, can we do that? We can do that. I think we can do that. We might oh. even... We, we might even... Who knew? Be, we might even be able to authorize other people to do it. Who knew? Yeah. Who knew? So... I was going to say, so yeah, if you can't understand us, um, you know, look at the closed captioning, except no. No, because if you You don't listen... want to do that either, because Mike's a murderer. Because I'm a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, anyway. <laughs> there there were a few things that came up on that closed yeah. captioning. It's actually, if you want to watch it just for a giggle, it's just, quite funny. Just put on the auto-generated closed captions and... Yeah. 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 So Alrighty. I'm thinking that opening, if we do another one of those opening montages, there's some stuff in there that yeah. might end up... <laughs> Ta Tasha farted. Tasha. I'm a newer murderer. Um, oh my yeah. goodness. Anyway. Skies yeah. above Armstrong. Yep. Uh, today, it happen them. today it happens to be raining. Yeah. But it's been, it's been good the last couple days. Um, uh, I read somewhere that uh, down in Kelowna they were hitting the 20s. I'm sure we hit 20 at some point. Yeah. Too. Celsius. Yes. Not Fahrenheit. Uh, that's about, I want to say 70 or 80 Fahrenheit. I don't know. Oh, double it and add 32. 72. Yeah. There you go. Roughly. There we, there we go. Roughly. I remember that from back in the days when we first made the switch over yeah. from, from Imperial to... Um, to metric. To metric. Yeah. All the little tricks to remember what the numbers really okay. were. Okay, so our alongs, we're still running our temperature scarf along. We are still running our temperature I scarf along. I am still not participating in it. I am still keeping up uh, about a week at a time. So So let's see oh, what okay. you got going on. Okay, let's see what I got going. Uh, so temperature scarf, Oof. for anyone who hasn't been with us long enough to know what that is, the temperature scarf is where you do, you knit a row a day based on the temperatures of the day, mm -hmm. and of course as you go through the year, um, you get different, yep. different shades. Yeah, so, so starting all the way down here in January, getting into, this area was February. And, and it was very cold. Very cold. March area, and now we're up into April where it has warmed, warmed right up. up. Yeah. yeah, I'm still. I um. I really, I really want to find a better way for you to change your colors because that is you're never gonna weave those in. I mean, what I've been doing 
and maybe this is where we discover that, been, that I shouldn't be doing this, is like cutting a really long tail and then like knitting it into the next couple stitches. Knitting it into... So like you can see oh, here... Oh, so, so then why don't you just cut all this crap off? Because uh, I don't think I've done that on some of the lower ones. Oh, but okay. I will, do, I will certainly do that on the on the ba on the top bigger up ones. Big, like, on the bigger up ones. Why yes. are there these big? Because uh, yeah, in some places I just need to like yank it through and yeah. Okay. Because because you, you're never gonna weave all of that in. That yeah. is just not going to happen. Um, but if you are going to do that, I would. Um, knit them a bit further because this is mm -hmm. a super wash yarn it's not going to felt yeah and um although okay realistically how much use is that scarf really going to get <laughs> but anyway it'll be a cool memento yeah so i'm still thinking you've got to show me where you get all the historical temperature stuff I from do. and then i need to like get it all written down and when we go camping, that's going to be my project. I think I am actually going to tear out what I've done already and start it again. Oh, no. <gasps> Got some stocking that going. The only downside of that is that I'm going to get super bored. Like if I'm knitting up five months worth of temperatures. And, and new temperatures are happening every day. I need to get, well, I'm just thinking like when I'm camping, I can just sit down and... yeah. It'll be a good mindless knit, or will anyway, it? Anyway, it know. might be too mindless. I think uh, that's mine. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like it's mindless, except you got to stop and fart around with yarn every color. Anyway, I'll see what I decide. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just change the way I'm knitting it. Maybe, yeah. Um, Maybe yeah. that's the way to go. I'm starting to think about that too. Just putting in like an eye cord edge, so I don't have to cut my edges so much. Yeah, it would be neater. Yeah, and also just maybe just switching to stocking it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing is switching to stocking that. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Okay. Oh, sad, terrible news about Notre Dame. Yeah. That was um that was yeah, terrible to watch that fire. I am the only member of my family who's never seen it. Are you? I am. Oh. So, well, you know, of Yeah. I don't know that my brother and sister have My right. sister yeah. might have. She lived in England for a few years, and I don't know if she ever made any um, trips over to um, over to France. Over to France, yeah. Know, but um, but you got to go. Yeah, I got to go uh, on my school trip in uh, in grade twelve, so twenty fifteen, and uh, I actually own a Bell of Notre Dame. Uh, they when I was there, they were selling these little. Um, I'm just gonna hold it so it's a little bit muted. Wait, these little um, hand bells. Uh, with the note with Notre Dame uh, on it, these were made to commemorate the 850 year uh, anniversary of Notre Dame. Uh, but I picked it up in 2015, and now it's 2019. And um, yeah. Anyway, it's a little something, and we might be able to put some um, some pictures in. Yep. Uh, I don't, yeah. We're not sure what Mike have, has easily accessible. Yeah, I have like four or five pictures on Facebook. I could just download those. Yeah. And, it's a yeah. little something from Mike's trip to Notre Dame. Yeah. I'm, I, oh, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, um, <laughs> when I was in Notre Dame, no no word of a lie, I cried. Mm. It, it, Notre Dame, well, Hunchback of Notre Dame is my favorite Disney uh, mm -hmm. musical movie. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, being in there and seeing the stained glass windows and, and everything it was just it was so overwhelming and beautiful and well i'm glad that a lot of that has still been mm -hmm. uh was saved or or you know not overly damaged like yeah. i'm thinking uh, i'm and they got a lot of stuff out and i mean artwork that was left behind um i saw some pictures of that you know it looks okay it yeah. probably needs cleaning yeah and um proper cleaning um uh, by those people who do that special yeah. restorative and, cleaning um yeah it's, as as it has been said it was thought that it was possibly caused by renovations that were happening to the building ah okay and as a and, and what that means is that the statues that were in the spire were actually taken out yeah, the, yeah. a couple days but before. But the, so. the, the, what's coming out now is they think it was an electric circuit problem. Oh no. Yeah, it was a um, 
something with the electrical is what they think what they think started it but I hope they're able to maintain as much of the original building as possible mm -hmm. and that the restoration uh, goes well. It sounds like, um, I mean, there's lots of people who are committing to get that done. And I, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's um, it, it, yeah, it was, that was hard. That was hard to watch. And I've never even been there. But well, even so, my daughter, Melissa, uh, also got to see Notre Dame mm -hmm. on one of her school trips. And uh, she said she was singing God Save the Outcasts when she got in the cathedral. And that's, again, one of the songs from Disney's um, Hunchback. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so that was that was tough to look at. And then just as, you know, as I was finding out about that, yeah. just, just within our little part of the world, and trust me, this is highly unusual, or I wouldn't even mention it, but within, like, two-hour drive kind of around us, there were multiple shooting incidents. Mm -hmm. So there was a fellow who was killed in a church in Salmon Arm. Yep. There was some guy killed four people in, in Penticton. Penticton. There yeah. were another two or three killed in Kamloops. Oh, that one I hadn't heard of. Yeah. And that's all like within a two hour drive of, of, of us. And that is just like... That's unheard of. That's unheard of. Well, okay. Kamloops is, there's been quite a few shootings in Kamloops. Yeah. It's, a, um, it's, it's sort of the, one of the larger cities nearby, so. And, well, frankly, there's a lot of Hells Angels activity up there and mm. stuff, so drug trade. Yeah. Yeah. But, love Kamloops, lived there for a while myself. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, now what was I going to, uh, the, so yeah, the, the, the guy in... So a 68-year-old man in Penticton who shot these four people, mm -hmm. it's, they haven't come out and said what the motive for the shooting was, but it appears to have been like a neighbor dispute. Like, I what? Don't, I don't like to speculate before the cops. Anything, I know. So. I know. But, well, this is coming from the family. Oh, yeah. Of one of the victims. Oh, oh. Is they figure it had to do with some sort of neighbor dispute. But, oh. It's oh. crazy. It's crazy what's going on out and about in the world. Yeah. But on to better things. On to better things, yeah. Yay! Um, yeah, so the Knit City class schedule is out now. So Knit City is a festival, or a, a, well, yeah, a yarn festival mm -hmm. held in Vancouver. It's sort mm -hmm. of our nearest large festival. Yep. Um, and... Oh shoot! It's we, in beginning of October this year. Yeah, we 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 went last year and we put together a video. You can look back on our on our channel and find that. Yeah, um, and so I was looking through the class schedule. Arna and Carlos are going to be there. Arna and Carlos from Norway. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Andrea Maori is going to be teaching a couple of classes. Um, Jen Steingas is going to be teaching some classes, um, but Carson Demers is, is doing quite a few classes. Now Carson is, he's written a book and, and about um, uh, the ergonomics of knitting and, oh, yeah. and knitting without pain Yeah. and stuff. And he's got like, there's three or four different classes and they're all kind of named a little bit differently, but they all are focusing on the ergonomics. Yeah, knitting without pain. Right. And um, it's interesting because every one of his, you know, things you need to bring, every one of them says a bath towel. A bath towel. So I'm thinking it's probably... So, yeah, some sort of lumbar support. Probably some lumbar support. But anyway, yeah. that's the... Because, okay, the, I'm... We're not... I'm not... I'm not rich. No. Um, so... Um, going to these classes, because they're not cheap, uh, is kind of a luxury. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I'm going to try to get into at least one of Carson's classes, because, yeah. Because, okay. yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. But if you're thinking about going to Knit City, for sure go and check out the class schedule. If you're not sure who somebody is or what they do or whatever, you know, do a little research mm -hmm. and find out who you might want to... Um, 
take a class from. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Now, another thing that happened that I just found out today. So Nordic Stitches, who Nordic Stitches. I've been watching for quite a while, mm -hmm. Lily. Yes. Um, and we had our we did a little Merry Christmas thing last year on yes. on her on Vlogmas. Yes. I guess on April first. A number of YouTube accounts got hacked and deleted. Oh. And hers was one of them. Oh. So she spent three years. She built up this beautiful podcast. She's another one who just really does lovely stuff with her podcast. She's hmm. a designer and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, so yeah, three years worth of her work got deleted. Wow. So she's... Slowly been trying to rebuild it, yeah. and, and stuff that she still had had access to. Yeah, videos she's she's been trying to put those back on and stuff. Yeah. But if you were a Nordic Stitches viewer, you need to go and search and find her again yeah. and resubscribe because yeah, her old Nordic Stitches mm -hmm. channel poof is gone. Yeah, disappeared. That's one of the reasons I try to back up. Uh, I, I have backups of every episode of every Yeah, all so. the stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and she has put a lot of stuff back up, up there. But I just, as she, I think she said in her Facebook post, she was the largest or one of the largest um, podcasts out of Norway. Mm -hmm. And then for that to just all collapse mm -hmm. and disappear. So if you haven't checked her out, check her out. If you have been watching her you'd and her you've again. been wondering what's going on, go and find her again. Mm -hmm. um, and let's try and get her her following back and spread the word because mm -hmm. um, that's just too bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I tell you about the dream I had this week? Oh, I, I had a weird dream this morning, but you oh, go. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, um, uh, I just had a, a we, we were rehearsing. For something with Melina and Graham Bob was there oh yeah that was weird and then also I was running around um, my main job which is a retail job um, I was shirtless and um, that's called an anxiety and that's what I, that's what I said when I got up and then also my also like my man my manager fired me because I made a self-deprecating joke. Oh. And so, um, yeah, anxiety dream. Um, yeah. Anyway, your weird dream. My weird dream. Well, uh, yeah, I, and, and I, I'm, st it was so real. I even asked my husband about it in the morning just to make sure. Oh, yeah. It was yes. A dream. But so in my dream, I woke up. Yeah. This week. Sorry, go. Because Mike came into the room to wake up. His girlfriend, Robin, who's been on the show before, who was asleep on the floor beside my husband, mm -hmm. like on the floor, not beside, but mm -hmm. on the floor beside my husband, and she just like popped up and and away she, and I'm like, what I couldn't figure out was there's all these other better places in the house where she could have yeah. slept. Why, yeah. why was she on the floor <laughs> yeah. beside? And then we got out into the room where you would set up to play games. Yeah, and stuff. We, we yeah. This was on a night where I was I was uh, mm -hmm. hosting Dungeons and Dragons downstairs in our game room. And Robin was there, and it's right next to the pen. And there were all these partially eaten chocolate cakes all over the table. Mm -hmm. And you didn't want to clean them I up. I didn't want to clean them up. And I was telling you you had to, and you were exhausted because it was so early in the morning. And then I went back to bed, and then I woke up. I think, and I couldn't feel, I was like, that, you know, that's just weird, why, yeah, why wouldn't Robin do all those other things, mm -hmm. and and I better get up and clean up that cake before the dog gets it, yeah. and then I'm like, I'm essentially naked, <laughs> <laughs> so why, why would I have wandered out into, <laughs> with Robin and Mike and not had any clothes anyway? Dreams so, are weird. Very strange. Yeah. But it was so real. I even, like I said, I confirmed with my husband in the morning. I said, Robin wasn't sleeping beside yeah. you last Yeah. Night. 
Like, yeah. Yeah, it was a weird one. Yes, yes it was. certainly sounds like a weird one. Okay, knitting stuff. Knitting stuff, just in time. <sighs> Yarn acquisitions. Yarn acquisitions. This has been yarn yeah, acquisitions. That was yarn at yarn. You good. Alrighty. Yarn acquisitions. Uh, foes. Foes, foes. Yeah, that was foes. That, that was foes. Okay. <laughs> Whips. Whips. Ah, oh, so not, well, I mean, things have changed. But yeah. I am still working on the Roselle tea um, by Patty Lyons, mm -hmm. the knit along. And it really, I really am I'm doing it more as a class. Right. Uh, and I have picked up so many neat hints and tricks. Mm -hmm. So here is a finished one side of... Uh, oh, that is the right side. If you okay. hold that out. Yeah. Um, of the Roselle T. And you can just sort of make out that triangular panel in the center there. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I say one side because it is a reversible um, t-shirt. I yep. am using Barocco Corsica yarn, mm -hmm. which is a... 90 cotton, 10% cashmere yarn. Okay, feels very nice. And it does feel nice, doesn't it? Yeah, this would be a nice. This would be a nice yeah. T-shirt. And I like, um, I like the way the way it drapes. Yeah. Like it's got a nice a nice drape to it. It's not too stiff. Yeah. And it's not really heavy either. Last year I knit a sweater in um, Pima cotton. <laughs> Who was the, oh, I'm trying to remember who the, um, who, anyway, and it, it's a very heavy sweater, and this one is not no. heavy. Now, I do know, just looking at it, it's going to finish up, it, well, yeah, it's going to be shorter than I would like, um, and I could have done something about that if, you know, I'd wanted to go in and add some, some rows and do some altering and things, um, but I did, like I say, I'm really doing this more as a class. Mm -hmm. So I'll see when that's finished um, how how that ends up. Mm -hmm. And now I've started side two and so on side two there's a lace panel Ooh. where that triangular section is on side one. Very nice. Uh, so it's, I don't know, I'll see. So what happens here is this actually, um, like, I gotta look at, look, okay. It folds, it folds like that. It's got like a little pleat. Oh. In it. Interesting. So it's really quite interesting the stitch, how, what kind, what Patty's done with the stitches, um, for that, to make that just happen like naturally mm -hmm. and then also just sort of a little bit of a different kind of a stretchier cast on so that you get that scallopy look down at the mm -hmm. bottom of the lace which is very nice um and yeah really other tips and tricks it was a ten dollar pattern yeah and i'm like I say, I'm using it as a class because it's got video support through the whole thing, and it's um, that's good. It's it's really very nice. What else did I want to say? I am using 3.25 high high needles. Uh, these are sharps. A lot of people say there's the sharps are too pointy and hurt them. I haven't had that problem. Okay. Um, and so yeah, there's there is that. There, far be that. Um, so. Yeah, enjoying this knit very, mm -hmm. very much. What do uh, you got going on? Uh, that sucks. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've worked on these as much oh, as much as I want wanted to this last week. Um, I've just been working. You've been working a lot. <sighs> I've been working a lot. Well, we have someone on vacation at work, so I'm. But they're back now. So yeah, I've only got like. Well, here, let me let me hold these up. Oh, they're all twisted. That's fine. Um, so yeah, these are these are my socks. Very nice. And yeah, that progress keeper is where I was last episode. So as you can see, I've only got like a just couple. Just a couple. Rows, it but... is. It's really interesting seeing just how very different. Yeah. I kind of like. Oh, sorry. It's all good. I kind of like it. Oh yeah. 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 
yeah, um, so hopefully I will get a few, uh, I have like another inch or so um, of this bit before I do start doing increases. So, um, yeah, that's all wet. It's all wet. Why is it wet? So I, I, I'm pull, I gotta dry it. I'll, I'll, yeah. So my socks. Your these socks. These are my socks that I'm knitting for my husband. Not a lot, um, on those. I've probably put about another inch, maybe an inch and a half. Yeah. Onto those. The, 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 uh, the lining I was talking about last time is showing up a little bit better there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so those are just kind of my, you know, they're going along, um, and yeah, so that's my socks. So why is this all wet? Why is it wet, Mom? Oh, and these are Drops Fable, the red and the gray. Yeah. Oh, um, Queensland Perth Collection, uh, Rainbow Reef colorway. Okay, and these are done on a 2.5, I think. Something like that. Um, why? Yes, two point five, and they are toe up, magic loop. I will do a heel flap and gusset, and this is the you know because mom told me to pattern <laughs> that I wrote for mine. Is that what you're gonna call it? I think I should. Because mom told me to. Because mom told me to. But why is this why, wet? Why is it wet? Why is this wet? So I took today. To, oh, that reminds me. I need to find my water bottle. Okay. We'll find that later. But, um, so I went to work and I usually have a water bottle. Find with, water um, bottle. You know, a proper closing top on it. And I couldn't find my water bottle this morning. So I decided I must have left it at work. And I got to work and it wasn't at work. Okay. So, I, um, what I did have was I had essentially a coffee cup. Yep. A travel coffee mug okay. that I had taken my smoothie in. Okay. So when I finished my smoothie, I rinsed it out and I put water in it. Okay. I forgot that I put water in it. Oh. So then when I packed up at the end of the day and I was putting things into my bag and then I decided I needed to sweep and stuff and then all of a sudden there was water on the floor under my desk and it got all in my vent and everything, which oh, isn't no. a good thing. But anyway, so this apparently is wet and needs to be dried out. That's not good. Because that's what happened to that. Yes. So we're about the same spot on our about, socks. About the same, yeah. <laughs> okay. The other thing, I did put in a few rows on Harton. It really mm -hmm. doesn't look a whole lot different. No, but it still looks very nice. And it has. And I still stop every, um, at the end of every row... And just sort of pat it and admire it. Yeah. It's hard to describe, but it's so different than something done in stockinette. Mm -hmm. The structure to it, it just, it just really, yeah, I can't even describe. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and then the yarn, this is Debbie Bliss Rialto Heathers that I'm knitting with. And I am alternating balls because technically they are two different colorways. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's soft. It mm -hmm. is a super wash yarn. So I'm kind of counting on it growing a little bit. I have altered the pattern and made it bigger. Um, but, um, oh my God. But most of my knitting right now really has to go to the Roselle T because it is a knit along. Yeah. I don't have to knit along but you're going to but i want to because if i do start having questions i don't want to be having to try to explain where i am yeah and, and, yeah and things like that so i'm trying to stay with the knit along okay oh right so <sighs> mike huh? what do you bring to the table oh what do i bring to the table indeed mm. Um, more wish list things, because, yeah, I realized the other day, I think I have gone through my entire board game collection on this show. So, um, uh, only, to, only well, took mouse, a year. Mousetrap. Mousetrap, God. Or... No. Um, uh, so, I bring to the table to the, today a game Hello, that is on my wish list, and I keep checking for it to be in stock. Uh, the game is called Quacks of Quedlinburg. It is a... Do you have to say that? On... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's, uh, it's a game brought to us from Germany uh, about a whole bunch of um, um, alchemists who are making potions. And you need to, you need, uh, yeah, participating in a festival that are making potions. And you need to um, gather ingredients and throw them all in your, in your cauldron and hope that they don't explode. The, the catch is when, when you buy your ingredients, all of them go into a bag. And then you have to shake the bag, reach in, and pull out an ingredient. And that's what goes in your, in your potion. Oh. So how, what, what would indicate whether or not something was going to explode? Uh, there's, um, there's certain rules. I, I personally haven't actually, I haven't played the game. I'm relying right. on reviews okay. for this. Right. Um, but yeah, it's like if you have, um, there's, there's one ingredient that you start the game, you start the game with like four of it in your bag. And if you ever get two of it in your cauldron, it explodes. Oh, okay. So there's certain. So you know yeah. what's in your. You have ready access to what's in your cauldron. Yeah. Got it. And um, uh, yeah, it rec uh, I believe it was this year's winner of the Spiel des Jahres, which is sort of mm. the, the largest um, board gaming awards. I think you've talked about that before. Yeah, I've. Uh, uh, yeah, a couple games I've featured on here have yeah. have been uh, sh former Spiel des Jahres. The old yardish uh, winners. So um, yeah, Quax of Quedlinburg. Uh, I understand it's a very good family game. I forgot to actually write down any of the information for it, but uh, I understand. So maybe not being as useful as we've been in the past. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm yeah. It's the 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 Spiel des Jahres does focus on family games, so it's it's uh, it, it won. That's a pretty good endorsement for a family there, game, there if I think go. so. So uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for that. Yeah. And now it's time for Mum's knitting. Events from around the world, 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 world. All right. I'm just looking at my pronunciation chart that I gave myself here. Ooh, you gave yourself. Ooh, you need one for this. Yeah. Yeah. So on Tuesday. April 23rd, 23rd, it's the Stitch and Bitch Lens Ooh. at the Café Marier in Linz, Oberstreich, Austria. Okay. I know, right? Yeah. That's how that's pronounced. Um, and then on Saturday, April 27th, is Powhatan's Festival of Fiber at Village Meadow, Powhatan, Virginia. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and on Saturday, April 27th, is also your local yarn store day. Go out and support local business. Yeah, so go out to your LYS and uh, show them some love mm -hmm. on the 27th. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. Hey, so, yes, Vicky was very happy with her... With her, her, winning. wi her winnings from la <laughs> Good old Vicky. Good old Vicky. I mean, she has a very good strategy going, which is to say, enter everything. Oh, she yeah. She but she watches everything yeah. and enters everything and yeah. and uh, what was it? Somebody said. Uh, oh, I can't even remember. Anyway, so yeah, that was great. Mm -hmm. That was great. Met her. Um, sis in law relative from Ontario this week at midnight uh-huh yeah glad uh -huh. I started that one yep All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think that we've sort of covered we've covered our, all our notes alrighty well yeah. thank you so much for watching us today uh, please remember to like comment and subscribe it really helps us out here on YouTube uh, follow us on Instagram, Close Knit Family Knitcast. Join us on Ravelry. All the information for that will be on the end card and in the description. And uh, as always, keep, keep your, your family close and your family closer. closer. Bye. Bye.